Don't try to get over a guy, outgrow him. This is number one, the best way to move on from a guy quickly, fast, not waste your time. So often when we are trying to get over a breakup or if we really like someone and they don't like us back and we're trying to move on, we can distract ourselves. We can try and force ourselves to forget this person. Maybe we go on the rebound, we go partying with the girls, we may get into bad habits. We may try and force ourselves to forget this person, not text them, but guess what? Sometimes what you resist persists. The more you try to forget this person, the harder it is. And in this video, I wanna share with you some of the things that have worked for me to move on from a guy really fast because life is short. We don't want to waste it on a person who it's not working with, right? We want you to move on and find someone who's more compatible and suitable for you. We want you to get to a place where if you bump into this person again, later on down the line, you'll be like, really? I was interested in you? I don't know why I was attracted to you in the first place. And honestly, this is possible. So the first thing is to detach and let go. I know this may not be easy for many of us. The last thing we want to do is let go. We can't help but think about this person, but my loves, in order to move on and outgrow this person, you need to let go. I want you to start thinking like, if this person is meant to be in my life, they will be. I don't have to convince them. I don't have to try and persuade them. I don't have to force anything, control anything. Start believing that whatever's meant to be in your life, it will be. There is a reason why you are not with this person or you have broken up. There is a reason why it's not working and accept it as hard as it may be. It all starts with acceptance. When you accept the situation and let go and become at peace with the situation, this is the first step to you moving on and outgrowing this person. Okay, you need to let, be like the river, let go, let the water flow. Also, understand that, you know, not everyone in our life is meant to be forever. Some people come into our life to help us learn and grow. And that could be for a short period of time. We attach ourselves to this idea that every relationship has to be forever. But maybe if we can understand that not everything has to be forever, sometimes people come into our life for a short period of time to teach us, to teach us things about ourselves, to learn, to grow, to prosper. And that's beautiful. Not everything has to last forever and we can appreciate people even for a short period of time. I know for me, I've met guys in the past that have taught me about myself so much and I'm so grateful that I've crossed paths with these people because I would have not discovered a lot about myself if I had not met these people. For example, I met a guy who introduced me to the artsy life and I found myself connecting with that. That's how I got more into my art side and painting. And that wouldn't have happened if he didn't come into my life for a short period of time. The second thing is to refocus the energy back into yourself. You know, relationships take time and effort. This is the truth. This is the reality if we're being honest, right? So now that you are not in a relationship, now that you don't have to focus on someone, please re Focus that energy and pour it back into yourself. This is your time. Focus on you. Ask yourself this question. What do you want in life? Where do you see yourself in five years time? In 10 years time? This is a time for you. Create the life that you desire. Become the person who you want to become. This is a time to do it. Not everyone is, will get this opportunity because a lot of people rely on a relationship to make them happy, to bring them happiness. But the truth is you can find ways to make yourself feel happy and, fulfill, and feel fulfilled by discovering the things that you wanna do, your passions, your hobbies. This will make you feel amazing. When you depend on yourself, when you create a relationship with yourself rather than always 
looking for someone else to make you happy, you will become unstoppable. Okay, that means you're not going to always look for validation in someone. You're not going to settle in a relationship. You're not going to put up with any kind of toxic relationship because you start believing in yourself and you know your worth and you know what you're going to bring to the table. You know, I have friends who are in relationships and they would swap to be single again like this. We can often glamorize and idolize relationships. But the reality is these being in a relationship also does come with its fair share of work and effort. I'm not saying that relationships are not a beautiful thing. Of course they are, okay? But they do come with its own ups and downs. When you are single, when you no longer have to worry about someone else's timetable, what they want for dinner, etc., etc., this is the time for you to pour the energy back into yourself. And this is the time you do what you want to do. Be you. Create the life that you want. Maybe you want to start a side hustle. Maybe you want to learn new skills. You know, when you start doing things where you see that you're achieving something, whether that's a project, whether that's learning a new language, I don't care what it is. If you start seeing yourself prog progressing in something incrementally, it will give you a boost of confidence. You start having, you start believing in yourself. And when you become confident, you become freaking sexy. And this is how you outgrow a guy. When you start developing yourself, working on yourself, the best investment you can make is the one with yourself. The best relationship you can have is the one with yourself. So often we think that we, ha we need happiness and we need all these things from external things and people. No, it's the one that you have with yourself because guess what? The person who you spend the most time with, it's not going to be your boyfriend. It's not going to be your girlfriend. It's you. So you need to create a solid relationship with yourself and this is the time to do it. The next point, point number three, how to outgrow a guy is to change your identity. What do I mean by this? I mean, sometimes when we have been in a relationships, our identities can almost start merging together with the other person. We start doing everything that they like. We can forget our own hobbies and passions. And before we know it, we lose ourselves in a relationship. So this is the time for you to rediscover who you are. So often, a lot of us, we hold on to limiting beliefs that we've adopted, maybe from childhood, maybe from certain negative experiences that we've had in our life. And then these limited beliefs hold us back from the life that we want, from the person who we want to become. So for example, maybe we believe that we're not smart enough or that we're not pretty enough. And then we start believing that we're not deserving of the things that we want. In this world, you get what you think you deserve. So you need to let go of these limiting beliefs that you've attached yourself to. This is the old version of you and you need to create a new version of you. Who do you want to become? You can literally wake up tomorrow morning and decide that you no longer want to be a walkover. You no longer want to be a people pleaser and you can start setting boundaries. Whatever it is, who is this person that you want to become? Maybe you aspire to be like someone or you know someone that you really admire. Start thinking about the way they are going to think, how their routine is going to be like, maybe even what they eat and start becoming that person right now. If you are consistent with your habits and who, what you are doing to embody this future version of yourself, sooner or, la or later, your reality has to catch up with you and you will start attracting the things that you desire and you will outgrow your past, the past version of yourself and the people in the past, including the ex. And this is the number one best way to move on from the past, your ex, because you are changing who you are, you're upgrading yourself. The next point, point number four, is to be open to new opportunities. What does this mean? This means open yourself up in order to grow Sometimes it means you need to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Go out there, challenge yourself to be in new experiences, whether that means to travel, maybe start joining new groups that you wouldn't normally 
These days they have this app called Meetup. You can go and do so many new things like hiking, pottery, whatever it is. Force yourself to try new things and this will open you up to people from different walks of life. And that's how you outgrow your past because you are creating new stories for yourself, new memories for yourself. So you're not going to constantly think about your past memories. You're going to develop and grow. Sometimes when you open yourself up to new possibilities, you'll be surprised who you connect with. And this is possible when you have been open and let yourself be exposed to different cultures, to different events. This is how you grow as a human. If we limit ourselves to only small amount of things, to the same culture, to the same area that we've lived in all our life, this may be limiting ourselves to the potential people that we could meet. And this is how you outgrow someone by opening your horizons, putting yourself out there, meeting new people, Point number five is to practice self-love. What does this mean? This means make sure you are taking care of your mind-body connection. This is so important. Have you mastered your emotions? Have you become that unbothered queen who's not into drama or any kind of toxic relationships? You understand that protecting your energy is so important. That's what it means to practice self-love. You will limit yourself to negative people, people that drain your energy. You know how to protect your energy because you know how valuable that is because it's your energy that attracts good things into your life. So you no longer will entertain relationships that do not work. You no longer will entertain men that bring drama to your life. This is what it means to practice self-love. It also means to take care of yourself. Maybe if you want to lose weight, this is the time for you to focus on getting in shape. Maybe you can start joining the gym, doing exercise, nourishing your body with good food, making sure you get enough sleep. Maybe you want to express yourself in a different way, start changing your wardrobe and dress the way you want. Become that person who you want to be. Start loving yourself, showing yourself some love, Give yourself some grace. And that's what it means to outgrow someone. Because when they see you next time, when you bump into them in a few months' time, you become unrecognizable. You've upgraded yourself. You've leveled up. You've grown so much. You've developed that when you meet them, when you bump into them, you no longer feel that connection with them. You no longer feel attracted to them. You ask yourself what you saw in them in the first place. And this is the best way to move on from a guy, is to outgrow him. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know. Maybe you can add something that I've not included in this video. Comment below. I hope you're all doing really well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.